is the unboxing of the Born 10.1 inch 3G quad core Android tablet. So that's the box there. $249, 5th of June 2013. Okay, so what have we got inside? Now, because of Aldi's very, very generous 60 day return policy, um, warranty details, charger, USB cable, and empty box. So that is about that. This one actually looks like it's oh, it's still got the um, the plastic. You can see that the plastic uh, protective cover. So now, importantly, that's um, that's micro USB, not mini USB. So that's going to be a pain for some people. Um, usual array of side controls, memory slot, power, volume. Now, if we pop the side there. This is the micro SD. Not quite sure if you can see that. That is a 16 gig class 10 micro SD card which ships with the um, with the tablet. Okay. Cold boot straight out of the box. Uh, yep. Here we go. Born Android. Should be Jelly Bean 4.3. Um, Specs in summary uh, IPS liquid crystal display 1280 by 800 resolution. It's a uh, quad core, a 1.2 gig Android 4.1 machine. Um, SIF front camera 20 gig total memory, 4 gig internal, and 16 gig on the SD card. Um, yeah, Android 4.1. So it's taking a little while to load up. Keep in mind this is a cold boot, so it's the first time that this thing's ever been turned on at all, straight out of the box. Okay. It's quite a reflective screen. And you can put your favourite apps here. Click OK. Okay. Scanning USB storage. 849. It's actually got the time right. So there's no music here. So press return. And get a calendar. Okay, so a usual array of stuff is the home button. Okay, so there are different. Um, that's how you, you jump around in this thing. There's a phone. I'll see if I can connect it to a browser via my um, via my phone. Okay, so it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, blah, blah, blah. Different levels of screen brightness. Would massively affect... Uh... Okay, connection problems. Okay, so that's for Skype, I'm sure. It's Google. Camera. Okay, hello. Zoom. Okay, change to... The external camera. It's got a panorama mode. Okay, this is in the camera, so you've got a macro mode, infinity mode, auto mode, and you cycle through those. The macro mode looks to be Actually quite good, that's very very sharp focus and it's only about five or so centimeters away. You can also choose between the resolution, three megapixels, 1080, or five megapixels or two megapixels, or WXGA, HD 720, one megapixel. Got picture quality settings and you can also zoom, touch to focus, there we go. Two hundred, four hundred, eight hundred, sixteen hundred ISO. Wow. Okay, now I've just tried to tether this thing to my iPhone. So there you go. Unlock it. Okay, so there we go. 
So tethering was easy. Just go into settings, connect to um, to my iPhone there, enter my um, password, and uh, bang, I'm in. So um, let's go to Yahoo. Just on the tablet, go. Okay, so the 1280 by 800 screen seems to be not too bad. So this looks like the kind of beast that I've got. Yep. Here we go. Bit of news. Rnet.com.au. So this is basically um, it's quite readable. This. Sounds terrible. Okay, so that's the tiny little speaker. This is in 1080p. Quality is, I've got to say, is uh, rubbish. Video camera. It's meant to be in 1080p. The uh, autofocus also seems to hunt and seems to stroke in and out of focus. These are just photos. Yep, you can pinch and zoom, same as um, there's a panorama mode as well. Okay, this shows you how appallingly reflective the um, the screen is. I know I've got the anti the the, the factory cover on, but uh, still not good. Now I've turned the navigation on. This is all being filmed on a Sony DSC HX5 in uh, 720p, by the way. Boring. Okay. And I don't know if I can be bothered getting a, a prepaid card just to check the navigation functions. I mean, what does work is if we go to maps. Here ended the lesson. Don't buy one.